going, everyone? So, <laughs> um, sorry for being 15 minutes late. It's completely normal for me, in all honesty. Um, let's make sure stream is up. Yeah, the yeah, stream's up. Apparently, my desk is not locked. Hello? Just lock that very quickly. I don't know how it became unlocked, but here we are. Let's go ahead and get some stuff going. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> How are we doing, everyone? Today we're going to be writing music. I've been working on this piece uh, pretty much today and yesterday. It's a little experimental piece. I have no idea uh, what we're going to do with it. Uh, there's a This is a very high chance it's going to go into the sound of music. Um, and we might do some, uh, or not sound of music, uh, sound of games, uh, volume three. There's a good chance that a lot of the stuff we write today will be, uh, put into the sound of games. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's just take a listen to what I've written so far and we will, we'll go from there. We'll, we will, we will go from there. I'll explain more as we, as we continue. Actually, hang on, give me a quick second. I don't know where. Okay. I want to make sure that all my tabs are on the right screen because I always forget where they are. base. So I just realized how weird my hair looks. I just got out of the shower. So, um, I basically just slicked it all back and we're just rolling with it. So it's not on my face. That's pretty much all that we've written. In my opinion... Oops, hang on. Wrong tab. In my opinion, this is something that probably 2021 me would have written. And then released. Like, he would have called this... Oh, yeah, we're done here. Like, let's call it a day. But I want... A, I want a little bit more structure to this. I want a melody. I want proper progression. So, that's what we're going to be trying to work on today. Um, but, yeah. We have just a main chord progression here. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. And this piece is very texture based, I'll say. So like, for example, we have this.
I don't really know what it is. I just found it, and I was like, okay, yeah. I was sifting through a bunch of Omnisphere like stuff, and I was looking for, I was looking for things that just sounded interesting, very warbly. So we ended up playing with a bunch of stuff. We have this as well. I think it's like a bell synth. It's something along along those lines. We also have what I believe to be like a Rhodes. No. That's not this one, is it? No, it's not this one. Might be this one. This one might be the Rhodes. I think so. Yeah, it's a Rhodes. And then, of course, for the breakdown, we have this... Almost like... Warped metal sound. I just really like the texture of it. It sounds really cool. And then these two unused instruments are just something that I've... Something that I've been playing with. If you aren't aware, this is in uh, E. Dorian, I believe. It's the same key we used um, for uh, Trails of Information, and sort of what spawned the piece. Um, let's take a look at that, actually, because I would actually like to share that. That's It's a very interesting piece. That is not going into the, um, where is it? Here it is. It's not going into Sound of Games 2 because one, it's too short. Um, two, there's already like a, a remix of Trails of Information out there. But this piece right here is a, uh, what is it? It's a string an orchestral string recreation of trails of information so i had an assignment over the weekend um where we had to take a piece um take any piece of music and drastically change it so that's what i did for this assignment i took my high energy fast paced electronic uh, ver electronic song and I turn it into this really slow cinematic version of of itself which is really cool I'm really happy with how it turned out and I would really love if this project file decided to open we are just running into all sorts of funny little hiccups with uh, what's it called with uh, contact it's always the contact synths that give me the most issues. By the way, actually, I wanted to move uh, the follow goal. I think it's probably going to sit somewhere like right down here. I think something like that, I guess, would work. Yeah, that works for me. That way, the text is still visible. I, I wear a lot of dark clothing, so it doesn't really matter if it's over my chest. Um, yeah. Let's take it so long. If we could get this, wait for program to respond. It, it just takes a while. But yeah, then maybe if we have time, I'll show you guys what I worked on for uh, my film class this, uh, this past week. And maybe we'll start uh, this week's assignment, since I haven't looked at it yet. Actually, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and let's take a look. Ooh, score an action cue. It's the movie Charge. Have we worked on this project before? We, I think we might have worked on this project before. Let me take a look at this. 
Yeah, I think we worked on this before. It was uh, the same with the robot uh, that we did a couple weeks ago. So, maybe. Maybe we'll go work on it. Um, I would love to score an action cube. I think that'd be super fun. Um, and I think that'd be kind of kind of cool. Okay, this is uh this is a little little interesting. Please don't uh make me shut you down. That would not be fun for any of us. Come on, we're only ten minutes into the live stream. Work with me here, Pro Tools. Work with me. You know, while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and do the ad break. Um, because, yeah, we're not doing anything right now. Okay. So we will wait for people to come back from the ads, and then we will go over this. There's not a whole lot to go over, but, um, you know, it is what it is. While we're waiting, though, because uh, we got a minute 30, let's go ahead and let... Give me that. Really? Okay, so for some reason, Twitch is like, oh, yeah, you know the ad that you just started? Yeah, no, we're going to put an ad break in three minutes. So, you know, it's whatever. Great, my efforts are in vain. Thanks, Twitch. You're a real piece of garbage is what you are. Looks like I have a software update over on the streaming computer, which is interesting because the computer was shut off earlier. So why didn't you do the update then? Well, yeah, no, that's fair. Let's make sure everything is working though. Okay, yeah, it's working. That's right. I wanted to grab the file for trails of information. Where is it? Miss projects. Mm -hmm. Trails of info. We'll have this playing for a little bit. I don't want to waste my snoozes because I hate wasting my snoozes. Let's go. Welcome back, everyone. Hopefully, those ads are gone now, um, and they will not be showing up for the next forty minutes or so. Okay. So, let's go over this little thingy that I have worked on here. Excuse me. This is uh, a, a strings variant of uh, Trails of Information. And I kind of like it. So, let's, just, let's take a listen. And I will explain afterwards. This is not showing up on Sound of the Games Volume 3. That's going to be a small problem. That's fine. Okay. 
See, this alone is giving action vibes. It just says restart now, schedule restart, Windows up, open Windows update. No, the fucking ads are back. Why are they back? Like, I thought I could schedule them now. Why on earth are they back? <sighs> uh, we got ads coming in 4 minutes and 45 seconds. But, yeah, that is... I really like this piece. Simply because it's... It, it's already like a... a it, it feels actiony in a way, like a march, especially like on the the segment right here with uh, the what is that the Collegno? I'm sure there's a way to pronounce it that I'm just not. I'm I'm not pronouncing it as. But I also just love these chords. Something about them is just it's masterful. I thought I heard something. Like, I love the E minor. E minor 7. Into a B. This would be B minor. And then into a G. I, it's something about it. Just, uh, do I have a piano here? I don't think I have a piano here. So it's a E, add a D on top to make it an E minor 7. What is it? Uh, there we go. Yeah, so it's a E minor, E minor over 7. Uh, B minor over D, and then G over D. I don't know. I just really like the way those chords flow, and uh, especially because Trails Information doesn't have any chords in it. It's all just bass and uh, melody, so it it really feels like it's missing a layer to it. Uh, sometimes when I listen to it, so there's sometimes that I always like think about it and go back, and I'm like, yeah, I could really like. This track could really use chords to it. They could really fill up the middle spectrum there. That is just missing. Like, I think if uh, I were to put chords in the song... I'd put them probably right here. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't... Uh, and I, I still think that this track's one of my best. But yeah, that that's just a little side tangent from what we're doing today. Um, I just really like how that sounds. But yeah, I want to go back to this, because... I want to experiment. We're working with... Um, Transitions, textures, other stuff. We're creating melodies today.
want the echo to be a little bit slower. Let's try something. So currently it's set to a fourth delay. Let's try a quarter fourth. It's definitely not it. It's like, I want it to be a little slower, but I'm just not entirely sure how exactly to do that. playing I really hope not let's make that dynamic it's really strong this again hang on let's okay yeah it's like such a problem is rattling my ears see okay I think that's such a huge part of like listeners fatigue I think is what the official term is called it's <sighs> Man, I gotta get rid of this tab I don't know why on earth it's here it's bothering me okay well okay we got rid of it part of listeners fatigue is that it's, your ears are just being filled to the brim and I think uh, my headphones might be getting to their life's end. And considering the fact that they've been working 24-7, almost 24-7, for, I want to say, three, five years? I think I got them in 20? Yeah, we're coming upon five years of getting these headphones. Um, And I've made some... In, use them a lot like a lot it might be time to start looking into possibly getting some new headphones um i've taken them with me i've traveled with them they've been shoved into my bag taken out wrapped uh run over the court's been run over bunch of different things have happened to these
Let's try that. I just want to try that over this. It probably won't stay on this instrument, but it'll be like at least a good checkpoint. That's uh, that's a good sign, because I was starting to think that the melody was getting a little too predictable. Literally just whole notes. I think we can do better than that. Let's start carving out a melody from this. Hear that very quickly. Let's keep that in mind. Something like that, I think. That probably sound good. Let's try that. and make
No, it's got to go down easier. Sorry, from 55. Let's try that. I think we can even get away with doing this. Maybe even this. Okay. Now before you get too carried away with this, I want to go ahead and stick this on another instrument. I can actually hear this on. That's not even the end of the... Not, I still got like a whole measure left, don't I? Yep, still got a whole measure left. I completely forgot. Let's try that. <laughs> yeah, okay, that'd be a good transition. That's a good loop. Okay, so we have our main melody here, which is actually pretty decent. I just don't want it on this instrument. Like, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I don't... I don't want it on that instrument. It's too muddy, I'll say. Yeah, I think too muddy is a good way to put it. Let me quickly do, 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 do. Okay. Making sure that everything is going good in the background. Cause, <laughs> Cause the background's where I struggle the most <laughs> when it comes to stuff happening on stream. Okay. So what instrument do we put it on then? And where does it go? I think that's probably a good time. That's a good lead into looking for a random instrument. 
Let's go. Let me just give it a few clicks and let's check out this one. I mean, it's worth a try. Let's go ahead and turn off that uh, arpeggiator. We're holding auditions now. Anyone's open. in the band. Nope. Mm, no. See without it. You have so many delays on you. Sure. Nope. I just want to hear. It. Ooh. Interesting. Tell me why I'm not mad about this, but also I can't see it being a perfect fit. Like it's, it's fine, but like, like I could see it. I could see myself using this in the future. I'm actually gonna go ahead and save that. I have a little text channel where I put all my, where, where I, I'll sift through Omnisphere or like any VSTs that I have. And just like if I come across something, I'll be like, ooh, let me bookmark that. What is this? Eight millimeter? Okay, yeah, Omnisphere. Try this one. I mean, if only it were a bit louder, maybe it would have stood a chance. Oh, that's funky, all right. Ghost train. Interesting. Oh, hang on. We might have a contender. Let's try this. Eh, 
Yeah. Not so much. I'm gonna have to wait. Hang on. I'm actually gonna save that for the cinematics thing that we're doing. Hang on. Was it Gothic Flames? Yeah, I'll just put that put in parentheses action project so I remember why I wanted to save it. Let's try this one. See, the beauty of just working from scratch on something that doesn't have a project tied to it is that you sort of just get to look around. I have no real idea for what I want the melody to sound like, instrument-wise. I don't have any idea what it could sound like. So, we're just sort of messing around right now. We're looking through some interesting uh, presets here. Like this. This sounds interesting. It's, it's not it, but it's interesting. before. See, I don't want to use instruments that I commonly use. I want this to really be an out of the, the think outside of the box scenario. I, I might not even keep this in. This is using uh, Omnisphere's uh, Space Ambiance Piano. Yeah, Ambient Space Piano. I might replace it with something else. Because it's just really normal sounding. But I think a bunch, all of these I have not used before. Besides these two, which I have intentionally left blank because, I mean, I don't want to use them. I don't want to use something I've tried in the past. So that's why we're sort of auditioning instruments right now. We want an idea for, like, getting new sounds. I think I'm already using this somewhere in the song. Arpeggiation. Ooh, creepy music box sounding. Could be. I don't think that's. What, I don't think that's what the song is. Find our instrument? Infinite harp here?
I like how it sounds slightly out of tune. kind of like how it's fitting with uh, the instruments that we already have. So I think we're going to go ahead and lock this in as our melody, melodic instrument. Wild. <sighs> Very wild indeed. <sighs> originally we were supposed to play Fortnite tonight. Uh, well, originally we had nothing on. <laughs> I had no idea what we were going to be doing. Um, but then I looked at it, Bug was like, hey, you want to play Fortnite tonight? I was like, sure. He's like, oh, wait, sorry, I forgot I'm going to the theater. And I was like, bruh. So here we are. It's sort of an impromptu music stream, which is why I had nothing prepared besides this one piece. Try this. Yeah, that melody is just not working on uh, the first bit. I think we're still trying to introduce elements there. Yeah, I think that works a lot better there.
it's not bad. I do want to change the tempo though. I want it to be a little bit slower. Try 107. I don't know. Something random like that. What happened to 107? Oh, what? Why did it go over there? Yeah, I kind of do like the slower tempo. It's a vibe. And uh, nice and soft. Very dark and ominous sounding. Someone, uh, I, I joined a new community, um, and I put um, "Adventures Can Be Found Anywhere" into uh, their listening playlist, like for like their feedback Friday streams or whatever they they are. And uh, I got told one thing. That'll probably stick with me for the rest of my life. I got told that the track sounds like it's underwater. <laughs> now, for those of you that don't know, the Subnautica Below Zero soundtrack is what got me into music writing. I don't think I will ever be able to escape the accusations that I write music for underwater, ever. Like, I think infused every piece of music there will be something that just sounds aquatic in nature from in this track it's this instrument right here sounds very aquatic i don't know why that is i don't know how but i guess that's just i'm gonna become like the i'm literally just gonna become the person who writes only for underwater segments in video games if someone needs that i guess i can help you why is it all the way out there get back in here anyway let's pick up right here because i want to hear this again Also, three minutes of music, which is pretty interesting. It sounds like someone's theme. Like, if I were to. I would want to give this to a character of some sorts. A character that's sort of misguided, alone, and like. not all there psychologically. leave it at that I might um, 
but I think it would have to depend how I'm feeling in a couple days when I come back to this project. Usually I don't like to make decisions like this um, until I've had a few days to sit on it. And I've had a few days to think it over. Because that's how we get problems like the like changing the rules. That's how we get tracks that don't sound good because I am just locked in too much to <laughs> too much to give a, 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 a balanced opinion. So... With that in mind, I think we're going to go ahead and leave this track here. What we're going to do right now, who knows. Let's go ahead and let's start up a new track from the ground. Why not? Sounds fun. What do I want to call this? I don't know. What type of track are we feeling? I got it. Let's try creating a liminal piece. Why not? I think liminal pieces are so interesting. And I don't know the... I don't know the right way to put it, but holy crap, I have been listening to liminal music for quite a while. Like, I'm trying to find my playlist. Yeah, so I just created this playlist just out of the blue. It's a liminal playlist. That was like put together by someone. And it's just got all these really like interesting like songs. It's like the the style of liminal playlists is so interesting. It's like it's like the way I put it is when you feel out of place in the world. And I think that perfectly sums up exactly what liminal music or what a liminal space is and what it feels like to be in one. It feels like you're somewhere you don't belong. And it's kind of weird. Like, it's so unsettling in a way. And that's why I... Um, that's I think that's what drew me to the genre is just the fact that I feel so out of place. It make, makes me feel like I am in a lucid state almost like lucid dreaming even though i'm wide awake it's so interesting i, I want to know how to create it so i mean i i don't want to play too much of too much of the music because i feel like i'm going oh first off i'm gonna get copyrighted but second i uh i don't like it's just so interesting If we got like these soft like tracks. Very pad driven. Very somber, very uh, melan uh, melancholic. Is that how you is that how you say the word melancholic? <clears throat> it's such an interesting style of genre. And I, I would love to figure out how to make it, especially because we just finished uh, the Take a Break album, which is all lo-fi. I would love to do like a, uh, like a deep ambiance playlist, uh, which I mean, some songs in, uh, in Take a Break specifically, like I think the Afternoon Sun feels nice. I I would call that a, like a deep ambiance track. Because that's what it was inspired by. But liminal music is something else. Holy crap. Like, there are, like, certain playlists that I have. That I... Because, I mean, recently, I've been, uh... I haven't been listening to a whole lot. Um, in my off... In my off time. I've been... First off, I've not really had any off time. Um, but... Usually... I am so stuck in my in my music, in my work, that now my method of 
my, my method of getting out of my workspace is to listen to music that I have. I, I don't even know how to describe it. I've been listening to a lot of d uh, deep ambiance, lo-fi, and liminal music. Because for some reason, these three like closely related genre, instrumental genres just feel so comforting. And it's so weird that they're that they're able to do that. So I think what I want to do is that's not what I asked for. No, don't duplicate us. I, I wanted to delete it. I think what we're going to go ahead and start with is um, a pad. And I feel like the best, the better place to start with that is ethereal earth. I feel like we'll get a really good pad here. So we have uh, Jupiter's organs, which is personal fate. One of my personal favorites. But the problem is it's too automated. Sometimes the saturation will just go a bit too high for me. So... I don't know. Can we change those? Interesting. I can just make it all incredibly saturated. Or I can make it all uh, minimal situ saturation. Yeah, it's not a uh, it's not the most ideal thing in the world. Um, which is why I want to start perusing these a little bit. Whoa. It sounds like you're on a, on a new planet. It's just I don't I don't know exactly how to describe this one. It's very interesting, but I do want to um I do want to save that one. Oh, was that network? Where is it? Where are we right now? Are we here? Where is this one? Network? I'm not seeing it. Unless I passed it. Oh, no, I did. So here. So we're in here. Nordic wins. Up next. Okay, that's definitely not what I want. Okay, so this is Ethereal Earth 1, which I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for here. It's just chrome lights. How does that work?
See, okay, I, I'm realizing that a lot of what I'm do, trying to find is not exactly what I want. It's all very atmospheric. It's all very reverby. I think what I'm looking for is just a simple, a simple pad, uh, like. Something out of tune, I think, is probably the best way to describe it. Like, this one has no reverb. It's... I feel like this is something that I would have to dive into more if I want, really wanted to try to... Um... If I wanted to try to learn. So I feel like I might I might do like a whole separate stream, if that were the case. Uh, making liminal music. Because uh, it's such a fun genre. I'm not going to lie. It seems so fun to make liminal music. I'm just not... <laughs> I'm not skilled enough to do it. I wish I was, but I'm not. Okay. I'll pick up my phone for a second. Actually, speaking of... Okay, I'll take... I'll look into that later. Um... I mean, these are not, like, bad sounding in the slightest. They're just not fitting the vibe that I'm looking for when it comes to a synth pad. So, where else can we look for synth pads? I think these are probably the only two places where we're going to be able to find good synth pads. Oh, well, actually, let's try Expand. I rarely use Expand. I think the only time I use it is during school assignments, so, I mean, better... I, I guess. Like, soft pads. Like, let's take a look at some of these. I feel like that's probably the start of something. So I don't I don't know how to describe this. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. I feel like this is really the only I feel like this is as far as I'm going to be able to get. I'm starting to run out of steam um, in terms of music writing, especially because I didn't come prepared. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm surprised that we haven't got like an hour and 13 minutes into this. But I feel like I'm thinking also in terms of VOD. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I don't really have any other plans for the stream. We could go over, uh, you know what? I think that'll be interesting. Let's go over some unfinished, unreleased projects because I think there is something to be, <laughs> I think there's something to be shared here. Um, I'm going to start sifting through project files that I've, I rarely open on stream. Why does it tell me I can only run a two minute ad and not a one thirty or a three minute ad? I would okay. Well, since we're waiting on contacts, I'm gonna go ahead and run a two minute ad so we don't get pre rolls. Or maybe not. I guess we're just gonna sit here. Okay. So this is a project file for a song I wrote called Blueprints. I'm not entirely sure where I was going with this one. Um let's t let's take a listen. It's very interesting in terms of sound. I think I was messing around with something. And that's it. That's literally it. I'm not entirely sure. I, I know I was messing with something. I just don't know what it was. Let's go ahead and let's open up a new session. I'm going to go ahead and pull this down here very quickly. I'm just going to start scrolling from the bottom. Or from the top. So we have 8 chord prog. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at that. What is this eight chord prog that I wrote? Well, I have no idea what this is. Did I really write this? I have no idea. I know I didn't play it because all of these velocities are exactly the same. So that means I inputted them note by note. But why? And why on earth are they stacked on each other? It's an F. F minor? No, wait, hang on. G, D, B. That's like a D minor. See, that's an F. Wait, no, that's a D. DFA. Does it go from D minor to D major? Wait, hang on. No, now I've got the chords completely mixed up. G. Oh, this is a G. Into a D chord. G minor. Into a D minor. E flat. G, B. Seems like an E flat minor. What was that? D, F. That's like a B flat. Into C minor, B, D, G, into G minor again, I see F into an F. That's such a weird chord progression. Like, it sounds beautiful. I'm just not understanding why on earth I wrote it in the first place. Why is this here? And why on earth is there an F at the very bottom? Sounds tasteful, but why? Okay, next one. So that was eight chord prog. 21 guns. 
Pro Tools 110, Simons 5 through 10, a Fractured Galaxy, a fucking abomination of notes. Uh, we've already done that one on stream, and frankly, I don't want to hear that again. I know exactly what that is. A Gas Cry, A Peaceful Time, A World Worth Exploring, Adventure Can Be Found Anywhere, Airports. Cannot say what that is. Or, actually, I can. It's a private document. Um, that's a client's work. Bank Heist. The time I made a template for... The time I made a template for Pro Tools, for my Pro Tools class... Uh, ear training blues when I was doing basic ear training in, in college. Beach time party, which is uh, lovers chaos, I think. Beyond the falls. Wait, what is beyond the falls actually? I don't remember what this is. <laughs> Oh, that's right. This is, um, I think we did a one hour. It was one hour challenge where we tried to compose music to a piece of concept art. And this is sort of what came of it. Yeah, now it's all coming back to me. That was a very interesting challenge. I don't know where the picture is, but <sighs> this was, I think, maybe about a year ago or something. Uh, I was using Spitfire Audio Labs. Unfortunate. Was this whole project made out of labs? Why is it missing so much? Is there anything that's still salvageable? Okay. nice but uh i think this has me this has my thumbprint written all over it, in all honesty i uh it's it's basic it's simple what else do we have i think there's an advert going on right now so we're going to go ahead and just wait for me to get the go ahead that we're back but in the meantime we're just going to keep scrolling for the vod watchers so we have me trying to recreate the Black suit theme for Spider Man 2. Unfortunately, I am not allowed to show that for contract reasons with Sony. Um, really unfortunate. Got me working on another project. Um, what's it called? Not. Um, it's for a school project. That's what it is. Blue Orchids, Blueprints, which we just tested. B Minor Rise, which is literally this document that I did all of the uh, stream assets in the stream alerts in that's an unfinished song uh that friend and i were creating that's bottles i wish it were gone broken mirrors broken mirrors acoustic sample test oh okay this is bug sample test this is a project that i was working on with the bug life i don't remember which one this is we've done quite a few um projects in the past Why do I need complete control? What on earth was that using? What? I'm so confused. Huh? Please don't. Okay. I don't even know where it is. Like, <laughs> complete control. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, I guess I can reinstall it, I, gu I guess. While we wait for uh, ads to be over in a minute. 
You all used complete control? That's really surprising, considering... I don't even know what this is for or what this was made for. Okay. Um, I see chase sequence. Intro sighting shot. You know, Bug has this really funny way of asking me for music for stuff without showing me. So, like, um, I'm sure we'll come across it later in the video, but uh, I'm working on some un music for his Uncharted short film. And he's telling me all these ideas, and he wants me to write music for stuff that he doesn't have for me. Like, it's so hard to work off of something that I cannot see, basically. Um, what on earth is taking so long? Will be installed when exiting this application. Okay, yeah, that's cool and all. I will remember that in a second. How big is this? It's 200... Oh my goodness gracious, I'm gonna run out of space. Oh, cool. Well, our plugins are back. What? Okay. Hang on. Now's the perfect time to do this. I think I want to activate it. Did that do it? I literally don't know. Is there anything on these? There's not. Okay. That's so weird. I don't know what the hell was on these instruments, but it's just gone now. All that's... L like, there's no data anywhere. It just decides to do that. So whatever I was doing um, is beyond my control. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and let's take a listen to this because this clearly seems to be a well fleshed out document with a timeline at the, uh, with a universal timeline at the very top. So let's just see exactly what I was cooking. What the hell? Uh, I guess. I don't know why you need to ask her for permission to do what you need to do. Wait, why is this 80, this one 60? sequence or at least the idea of it There's supposed to be something here. I just don't remember what it, what it is or what it's supposed to be. I think I made this back in like 21? This had to be 21. Because so I remember showing this to a group of friends that I was constantly in, in chats with in 21. Um... Unfortunately, I wish I talked to them still. We just all sort of got busy. Uh, I don't believe there's any bad blood between us.
Oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> I'm really excited because um, I just got a notification that 21 Pilots' uh, song for Arcane just dropped. I've sort of spoiled myself. I'm not going to play it on stream because I am I want to, uh, in case any of the VOD watchers are watching between now and when they watch the, the final or season two of Arcane. Um, but I will listen to that in my off time. It's uh, from the snippet that I heard, because I think Australia got access to it um, on Apple Music, like towards the beginning of the day. <laughs> Um, that and a new song just dropped that I've been following for a while from this in uh, from this small artist named uh, like I think his name's Carter Ryan. Um, I don't want to listen to it on stream because it just dropped. I think you all should listen to the song. Uh, let me find it very quickly because actually I really like. That's not how you spell. Is it not a... Oh, no, it is. Okay. So, this is... This is a uh, a new artist that I found that I actually really like. His name is Carter Ryan. His song, Happy We Happen, just dropped 17 minutes ago. Um, And... I, I've been listening to his stuff on uh, Instagram. I like his song, Talk To You. Um, and he's 17 years old. The kid's good. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. The kid's good. Uh, so go, go check him out. I, I recommend him. I would, I would love to do like a, like a collab with him of some sorts. I think that'd be super cool. Um, and there aren't a whole lot of people that I want to collab with, but he's one of them. I would definitely say he's one of them. But going back to this piece very quickly, um, I'm not entirely sure what this is. It's just an un a very vague action sequence. Intro, chase, chase ends, dialogue starts, loop for dialogue. I still have no idea what these are supposed to be here. Unfortunately, I will... Actually, hang on. Almost meditation. That tells me nothing. Where on earth is that? I'm going to do a search for that, actually. Let's see if we can find these. We can reverse engineer these. Thank you, Noah. You made this a lot easier for me. I don't have it. Okay. Somehow, in between this project file being made and before, I managed to... Why am I using complete control anyways? Why am I not using contact? Well, I guess to be fair, this was made before I bought contact 7. So, maybe that was my only way of doing this. Either way... Let's go ahead and let's open up a new session. So that was bug underscore sample underscore test. It looks like I was trying to do something for him. All right, we got building roller coasters, cabin in the woods, um, more client work. Uh, that one time I tried making California Screamin', uh, which I don't want to open. Call it a day. This is an interesting one. Call it a day was a demo that I made for a short horror film. Uh, don't say if it's fine. And what it is, it's... Um, I don't have the video footage for it anymore. So, unfortunately, I can't show you what it looked like. But, supposedly, it was a scene of, like, some guy on a subway reading a book. Uh, it was, like, a, a scary, like, horror book or something. He falls asleep, and it's a dream sequence. So, outside his apartment in his dream, he hears a gunshot. And eventually... He looks outside the window to see, uh, like, the character from, like, the horror book. And so then uh, we get a little bit closer. We get a little bit closer. We see there's a lot. We feel there's a lot of tension building up in the scene. And then the guy, uh, this character from the book, uh, in his all scary attire, go, uh, pulls down his, ban his uh, bandana over his mouth and just goes, meow. And it's at that point that the dude on the train wakes up. And he realized they're sitting next to a lady with a cat, and everything's fine. So that that's that's all that I got for uh, context. Uh, but this is what I made for that, since I think that this is still a really like good track.
meow. And then that's how, that's the entire cue that was given to Ridden. Honestly, this project was really fun. I wish I still had the, the footage uh, or the original draft demo footage that I, that I got for, uh, for what's it called? Um, for this demo. It's, it, it's really cool though. I really like the way that this track is structured. There's a lot of visual elements that led to the decision here. One of the big things is that they wanted this gunshot emphasize. So the in in his dream or in the book uh, or whatever, um, the guy wakes up in a panic when he hears the gunshot. He looks outside his window. And I decided that because it's like an alleyway of some sorts, I would grab this sample that I found of like people talking into a radio. It's all very reverberated and distorted because you don't really know what's happening. It's just, you need the sound of that, of like people talking. And I thought that was really cool. I, this is such like a really cool sample. It's called Radio Confusion. I cannot find a use for it at all outside of this one instance. I wish I could, because it sounds so nice. Um, nice and rich. It's just, I don't know how. I'm pretty sure it's like gibberish or like a different language. But I just like the idea of it being like radio chatter. Like imagine like you're down the street, you just hear like in your dream, like police talking to each other. And then, like, it's slightly distorted. And so then at this point, um, I think the purpose was, like, um, like, the killer the, uh, that uh, the, has the gun um, ends up seeing the person in the, like, who's dreaming or reading the book or whatever. And so then he, like, focuses his gaze on, on the protagonist. And the protagonist starts getting scared, so I decided I'd just start revving up the tension. It sounds like a ticking clock, and then just... And then it's gone, just like that. Like, something so unsettling. I, I think it's... I, I To this day, I think it's genius. For a scoring a horror cue, I think this is probably one of my better ones. It's unbelievably cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's search for another session. So that was Call It A Day. I think that's what it was called. That's more client work. Canon NG. Captured by pirates. This one's interesting. I've not heard this one. What on earth could uh, capture by pirates mean? I don't even know. What the hell? Of course, it's using labs. It's using Spitfire Audio Labs. Never mind. We're not going to be able to hear this at this point. I don't even know what this is. I mean, I guess it makes sense for a... Uh, like a A melody of some sorts. I can imagine hearing it. Like I, I could hear it in like a pirate setting. Like put some strings on it. 
I think that would work. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to open up another project session. I'm going to be hearing a lot of these for like the first time in a really long time, so I'm going to need like a second to hear them. Changing the rules. Uh, it sucks. It's, it, I'm just going to say it. Clear waters. Coca-Cola 30 second ad. Um, that was something I did for a project, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it because it's actually decent. I think it was for a projects and composition class I was taking in community college. Yeah, I know the video file is missing. Oh, wait, hang on. Um, I think I gotta find this myself. Great. Okay, whatever. I I can find these. I just can't find. Man, I was super proud of that too. It was like mixed really well with uh the Coke sounds. What am I doing? I have it on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I know it's somewhere on my YouTube channel. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. I put it up like shortly after, I want to say, I made it. Yeah, found it. I just made this all as a one off. Yeah, no, I just made that as a one-off. It's uh, it's really interesting because I had to, I th I don't even remember what the assignment was. I remember the only thing I remember remember about that class is that it was very loose. Everything was very like wishy washy. I had classmates that um that like. There was no real structure to the class. It was sort of like you showed up to like a Zoom meeting, talked about what you were working on for like half an hour, and then just dipped. I was like, what? Easiest day of my life, mind you. Um, the, It was like you need to create four pieces in a semester. That's like once a month, like one piece every month or something. It wasn't hard, but what I ended up doing was just I think I got like really busy with other stuff, so I just literally submitted music that I already made and pass it off as like Oh uh, yeah, like I made this this month or whatever. Like I think I submitted Without You, I submitted Trails of Information, uh, or no, Fragments of Binary, the remix. Uh I submitted that for one <laughs> month. Um and I submitted Magic of the Forest, I think. Uh so it's a bunch it was a bunch of music that I had already written. I literally don't think I put any effort into that class outside of making this just because it was fun. Uh, but I really like the way it came out. I think it's actually a really fun trailer. I can imagine it actually being. I can imagine it being in a Coca-Cola commercial. Yeah, I mean, fun. It's just, it's just fun. Um, and for some reason, like I always have fun with like these smaller projects. I did a trailer uh for this game called uh, Arcadian Rift. Um, turns out the guy that was making it kind of did some bad stuff, but I really like the work I did for that trailer because I just found it online. On, a, on like a whim I found it online um, and so I was like okay like this is a cool sci-fi game that I, I think I can make music for so I did I think uh, the song that I use is now called City of Neon I think on streaming services man I think one of the like I want in the next like year or two I want to especially because now that, now we're, above, we're over a hundred songs I want someone to 
put a blindfold on me or something, shuffle up my music and see if I can guess what song it is. Like, <laughs> I think that'll be so like interesting to see if I know all my music or if I've forgotten. Would be would be a challenge. There's definitely some that I can identify at the top of my head, especially because we play a lot of it on stream. I still remember most of it, but the names they're starting to fade. The names are starting to not make sense anymore. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh that's the coke commercial that I did. No, we're not making we're not making that. We're only in the C, so we'll probably do like only a couple more of these. Cogs and Gears uh ended up becoming Celestial Playground. Uh, it was for a game that I was working on with a a team for Game Jam. It was called What what was it called? Cubic Chronicles, that's what it was called. Uh, Secondary Dominance, that's a school thing. That's another school assignment. Containment Breach. I don't remember what Containment Breach is. Is this even a song that I released? We're about to find out. Eight instrument tracks. What the heck is this? Oh, never mind. Yeah, it is a song that I released. I think it, I think it is called Containment Breach. I have two tracks named Containment Breach, so this is a little confusing. One of them's official, one of them is not. gonna be honest i don't like this this track is not one of my favorites i'd place it somewhere in like the d or c to c or d tier um first things first i don't think that bass line is mine i think i i heard it on uh i heard it from someone uh, like another source of inspiration um i can't remember where i can't remember where i heard it but I was like, oh, that's a cool, like, bass line. I want to try it myself. And I think from the same place, I found, like, I heard this really weird, like, vocal. This is custom made, by the way. I made this specifically because I heard it somewhere else. It's a female morphing sample. Mixed with like a boy, uh, like a, a choir ah sound. And I think I put it through. Is this what it is? No, it's the fact that it's arpeggiated. Like, what is this? This is a. I don't even know what this is. Uh, I don't know what it does. But I. I heard it somewhere. So I made it to play with someone i i think this one was from a subnautica couple of zero live stream um i think i saw the composer ben prunty using it on something and uh i think i was like oh that's cool like that's a cool sounding thing let me try it for myself nowadays no it's not it, it sounds very Harsh, I'll say. Like, a song has to be designed around this element. It's, you can't really make, you can't really fit it into a song and expect it to work. It sort of needs, the song needs to fit with it. Which is why this sounds so janky and so jarring, I think. is because I tried fitting it into the song instead of having the song fit around it. 
So that's that document. That's that. I think that's in uh, The Sound of Games Volume 1. I think. Okay. What's next? That is my final. That's Corn Flowers. That's all Champions of the Universe stuff. The Creative Garbage Bin. Let's take a look at what's in the Creative Garbage Bin. Uh, don't save. What is this? Okay, well... This looks like it's recorded straight from the piano. I played this into the document. It's cool. It's it's fine. I just don't think there's there's enough legs to stand on for an idea like that. I think the bass is pretty cool. Boom, 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 boom. It's 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 interesting. I will say that, but not enough legs to stand on for a whole song uh, for a whole track. I want to say. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Where were we? Where are we right now? Creative garbage bin? Cool. Uh, okay. Day by the Ocean. Subnautica Remix. That's um, something you'll only find on Spotify. Or not not Spotify. Uh, that's something you'll only find on SoundCloud. Dissociated. Do they exist? Dolphins Dance. Don't trust the Maroon shirt. A.K.A. Maroon could be saving. Dorian Melody, a.k.a. an assignment that I did for school revolving around uh, Trails of Information. Edge of Exploration, a.k.a. This Won't Be a Smooth Ride. Electropop, a.k.a. Inversion, I think is what the song's called. Yeah, it's called Inversion. Elephant Stream, which is a school assignment. Ethereal Realm, Clouds, EDM beat. What's EDM beat? I want to see what this is. Don't save. There's a lot of stuff that I've done over the years that I'm not. What? How are some outputs missing? That's confusing. That's not EDM. What? That's not EDM. What on earth is happening? Why? Why is this here? It's a groovy beat. I'm not gonna lie, but why is it? Why do I call it EDM? It's not EDM. That's like a just a basic pop drum loop. That like doesn't even have a whole lot to stand on. I don't even know why this deserved a whole document. That deserves to go into the random folder. Okay, what have we got? Elements. What on earth could elements be? Anything with the experiment, uh, experiment or experimental tab at the front was something that I was working on for the idea of trying something. So uh, at the start of the stream, we were working on a, a track called, or a file that was called, a project file that was called, Experiment Pianos Are Lovely. And the reason I do that is because I was trying some like new pianos. I was trying some new uh, synths to go with it. It's all experimental. I don't, those have absolutely no projects tied to it. Now, what on earth is this? That's it. What is this? Do I even want to know? 
Why is the beginning of time in here? Okay, that's uh, interesting. I don't even know what I was trying here. That's the weird part. Experiment Blue Skies, AKA, we were called here? Is that what the track's called? Liminal, we opened, we created that today. Pianos are lovely, we also worked on that today. Facility of the Deep, Failure, Fallout, Fear in Yourself, more stuff, Final Confrontation. This is another project that I was working on with Bug. I think this is the Uncharted project. This one might go into Sound of Games if I decide to finish it. Why on earth are you having an issue with me, Contact? I don't even know what it's having an issue with. Oh, great. There's labs in here. Were you actually used on anything? No, you weren't. Interesting. There's a lot happening here. Holy crap. Wait, this is a lot more thought out than I thought. Okay, this one I actually do remember. I think I was working on it at the beginning of the year. Um, There's no other way... There's no way to put it other than... Um, I was designing, like, final... Like, battle... Like, the final battle, like, boss... Not boss music. Uh, like, fight music for... Bugs, uh, short film. Even though it wasn't done. So... Here's what we're going to... I think I showed this off a stream as well before, but I just want to show this off one more time because I doubt we'll, hurt, we'll hear it again. Uh, there's a good chance I want to see the footage. I will just completely drop this and I'll make something else. I do like the sound of this, though. stop it <sighs> I don't know what I expected I don't know why I expected anything different If you could uh, maybe open, that would be pretty nice. And not tell me that you're not responding. That would be lovely. That would be adequate. Oh, that would be lovely. Oh my god, it's still going. Okay, now it's not. I think either the sound effect cut off because I cut it off early or I don't know <sighs> okay any day now contact please <laughs> how are we doing today chat nope it's still going it just cuts off, I guess. Yeah, how are we doing today, chat? And bod watchers. Jesus Christ! Okay. Well, at least we got it working again. Alright, you know what? We'll go back as soon as we get this up and running. Or not, because I'm bored.
move this out of the way, because I don't know what to do with it right now. supposed to be there's so much contact oh my gosh Do I even want to continue this? Nope. Okay. I bricked it. <sighs> okay. You know what? I think that's probably a good place to end the stream today. Since clearly we have gone. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I'm just going to. What is it? Control shift O. Yeah. We start the program. <laughs> I don't care. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I have a big headache now. <laughs> okay. Well, I think this is... Hang on. You can... You can go ahead and go down here. You are not allowed to be on the main monitor. I think this is a good place to end the stream. Do we have any friends that are live today? Uh, it does not appear so. So what we're going to do is let's see if there's anyone who's live who's uh, composing music. Hmm. What on earth? Amazon Music? Twice? Twice his life? That's interesting. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find someone who's live right now. This is, uh... It's always hard to find someone who's live in this category making music cuz Isn't there a DJ category now? I'm I'm confused. Making rainy ambient electronic music, Mellow Cyberpunk. Let's go and check her out. What on What is happening? Wait. I'm a little confused. <laughs> Not a little. I'm very confused. I, I, I really couldn't care about what's happening on this part of the screen right now. I'm looking at what's happening in this corner right here. Uh, which you guys cannot see, unfortunately. Uh, there we go. Now you can see it. It's like... She looks like she's in a completely virtual world. And she's picking up and moving the camera around. Which is very interesting. I want to see what... Hang on, wait, why can I not hear the music? Is that a me thing? Let me open a quick YouTube tab. Is my spot... It is, wait, what? What the heck? Why is there nothing coming through on my capture card? Whoa, hang on, let's quickly solve the issue here. Okay, it just seems to have stopped. That's cool. That's very cool, I guess. Thank you, Elgato. You are once again making my life a living nightmare. Wow. The program's already running. Please execute it. After I closed it, I told it to close. Oh my god. This is just more work than it needs to be. I need the... I just need stuff to work for like a second. Just just one second. Just one lovely second. Seriously though, what on earth is happening? Like, 
I don't understand how on earth you are able to do this. She's in a virtual space? What do you mean, quit the application? I'm okay. I'm actually about to lose my shit. Elgato has just decided to fuck me over royally. Okay. 4K capture utility is already running. Please quit the application before you execute it again. I'm going to click on the 4K capture utility. I'm going to end task in task manager. Why is it not ending? It's still just sitting there. I'm spamming the end task button. It's still taking up 20, like a solid 5% of my memory. 720, 770 megabytes. And I guarantee you, if I go and try and open the program again, it's going to be like, oh, but you still have it open. So, like, we can't. We can't open it for you. Oh, surprise, surprise. I actually opened. Because I made a mockery of it. Anyway. Uh, so, what on earth is happening over here? Activity software. Okay, so it is working. So, like, why can't I hear anything? I'm confused. Like, is this not... Can I not hear anything? I gotta follow more people. <laughs> okay, no, we can hear it now. Um, but it doesn't look like they're, they're creating music, so I guess we're gonna have to go find someone else. Um, I'm just looking for someone creating music. Oh, hello. Thank you, dude. One, one hundred and freaking thirty. Oh, nice. All right, let's go say hi to Brightside Movement. All right, everyone, you know the drill. Go say hi. Go show your support. I'm going to be hanging out for just a little bit to say hi, get to know this person. Um, and yeah. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let's quickly check that. It says they're in follower-only mode. Okay. That's... uh. That's unfortunate, because one of the things I don't like is having to be forced to follow uh, immediately. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to raid. So, thank you everyone so much for joining me on today's uh, live stream. Uh, I will catch you all on Monday, possibly. I'm trying to figure out what days will not work. Thursday next week will not we will not stream. That is Thanksgiving. And uh, I, ha I have family to be with. So I'll catch you all sometime next week. We will. Uh, I will figure it out. Thank you all. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.